Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in our beautiful Zootessia Zoo where I have a little bit of unexpected news. So as you guys may have noticed, there was not an episode yesterday! <gasps> Gasp and horror! Our daily series didn't have a daily! And that is because my beautiful little random bun bun. In fact, I kind of want to catch this bunny really quick. Alright, let's call this bunny. We're going to call you... Come here, come here, come here. All right, I'm gonna get you. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get you like that. Oh gosh, I got him now. Oh my goodness. We're gonna call you Lucky Rabbit. I'm so sorry, Lucky Rabbit. I didn't mean to like hit you. That was completely unintentional. Um, Do I have like a healing potion? I'm sure I've got something. You just stay right there, my little friend. I could have sworn I had a healing potion on me. Um, I guess, do I have an apple? Okay, you stay right there. I'm gonna go get you an apple and like heal you up. Oh my gosh, is there, there's an apple, all right. And actually, okay, I know how to do this. I know how to do this, you guys, ahem, ahem. But there was not a daily episode yesterday and that is because we had a major surprise. So all of those updated mods that we added in, well, we ran into a little bit of a major hiccup and we ended up having to do a backup of the server and it looked very hairy for a moment there and I was on edge. I was so fearful and it took all day and then a half of the next day to manually back up our world because it is huge now. We're moving into five gigabytes just for the world. That is a lot just for this world to be and to exist, which is another reason we're not able to share it with people because downloading five gigabytes even on my amazing amazing internet took a long time long story short we got the server back where it was on saturday so we lost a day and we had to put back the normal pam's mod so the one we've been using and not the updated one but we managed to put in the new exotic birds mod still and we managed to put in a new surprise mod that pavo made and i'm so excited to share with you guys this is gonna be so awesome lucky rabbit is actually kind of showing off what we are going to spend the day doing are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? So, you know we've been working on... Oh, I'm, I'm showing too many too many peeking things. You guys know we've been working on uh, this lake, and I call it Swan Lake. And I was telling, you know, everybody, how cool would it be if we had those cute little swan boats that you see at all of those little, like, roadside attractions to get in and paddle around the lake. And I didn't think much of it when I said that, but somebody took me at my word, and look what he made! Look what he made, you guys! Look at this! Look at this Pavo made swan boats! Not only did he make like a normal swan boat, because we've got um we've got the normal swan paddle boat now, which is just so cute. And you can make it out of quartz and a boat and a little bit of wood on the bottom, and it's adorable and I absolutely love it. But you can also do a black swan boat and a little dragon paddle boat. Look at them! We have little paddle boats on our swan lake now. I just want to fill this thing. We're gonna have to put like <gasps> we should have races. We should have swan swan boat races. Ah, oh, that's definitely something we'll have to do soon to celebrate. I'll get as many people on at the same time as I can and we'll have just swan boat races and fishing competitions. When we get the Tate and Tackle finished, it's going to have so many community areas that people can participate in too. I just can't wait, but look at this, you guys. So let's go down and look at it. As you can see, it is adorable. It floats very well. It has a beautiful model and it has a little bit of water in it. Not worried about that. You just get right in it like a normal boat and then you take off. And actually, the model moves a little bit to the side, so you can actually see what you're doing. But then, look at me! Look at me, you guys! I am in a swan boat! Isn't this just the cutest thing in the world? I am so in love with this. I am so in love with this. So let's go over to the other side of our lake. Oh, look, there's one of the turtles. One of the little- oh, two of the turtles! There's the turtles that we, we hatched over here. I'm so happy to see them, too. And we'll just go paddle, 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 paddle. We're like paddling with our little legs. How many of you guys have ever been in paddle boats? They're kind of amazing. And I don't know, I don't think they can break really easy. I'm pretty sure he would have prevented that. I trust Pavo to have been able to do that. Look at how cute that is. So now you can swim as a swan with the swans. We're going to have to like surround this place with the fencing so that they don't just wander off and put in the swans pretty soon. Oh gosh, that's so cool. It looks like a giant swan. That's what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to grab some of these apples because if you take an apple and you can bind it with a syringe, you can make a health syringe. And I need to go and find Lucky Rabbit. And I named it Lucky Rabbit because our server is alive. I was really worried. I was so nervous, you guys. I was like, this is not happening. Because this world, we back it up very carefully. We take very, very good care of it because I intend for it to last through the ages. I don't ever want to update Zoo Crafting to a new world again. I just want to stay in this world forever and ever. Oh, because it's, it's just, it's perfect. It's just perfect. All right, and we're scooching over. 
And look at this, look at this little dragon. Isn't it just so cute? I didn't even think about the dragon boat. It's just perfect. And he, now that he's like figured it out, I wonder if in the future when we start having, oh, it could be, we could call it the sea dragon for like marine areas. Wouldn't that be so much fun? So this will be a little sea dragon that we can have like in marine spots or maybe like one day you could do turtles or something. Turtle wouldn't be very fun to have as a, a paddle boat actually. I think these are perfect. And we will get some of the white swans out here on the lake very soon. These beautiful paddle boats. I'm so excited about this. So excited about this. this is gonna be awesome all right really quick let's go and heal lucky rabbit i'm gonna have to find where lucky rabbit ran off to hang on puppies all right there's lucky oh <gasps> there's a surprise i think somebody i think somebody because he ran over here while i was working on rebuilding the tate and tackle for the progress we lost i think that a certain someone and yes sunflower's down here because i flew her over here with us uh there's lucky rabbit come here lucky rabbit okay let's heal you at least can i heal you is that something I can do? I can't heal him. Can I feed him an apple? Here you go. Can you eat the apple at least? I'm gonna have to just get a potion, darn it. All right, we'll have to get a potion and throw it at the lucky rabbit, but I see a swan. Look how pretty, oh, blurp. <laughs> just walked right off my lily pads. Look at you. Look at you, precious. Can I put you on top of the lilies for a second? Oh, you guys. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Come here, my little friend. I'm gonna take it over to um, to Swan Lake and we're gonna have a little swan friend over there now. I'm pretty sure Pavo, when he ran over here to give me the swan boat, may have tucked that swan over there as a present. Oh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. We need to go and like, the birds are just, they just make the most awesome gift. Hello, buddy. Here, maybe we'll actually, let's move the swan over here like onto the land for now. There's Lucky Rabbit. So let's move the swan over here. Yeah, this is so cool. Lucky Rabbit, I wish I could heal you. I'm gonna have to get a splash potion for the rabbit. Unless I can manage to find like a carrot sooner than that. I think there's a root garden actually. Oh, what should we name the swan? You guys, we need a really cool name for the swan. Maybe Odette, our very first swan, Odette. We'll just let her wander around. Hopefully she won't wander too far. Maybe we won't put a fence around the whole Swan Lake. We'll see how far the swans wander. If they wander too far from Swan Lake, then we'll go ahead and we will indeed um, try to protect them. Where'd Lucky Rabbit go? I really, I kind of want to heal Lucky Rabbit, but at the same time, I think, oh, oh, there's Lucky Rabbit. All right, let's do this quickly. I think I know where a root garden is and root gardens drop the carrots. And I'm so sad we had to scale back on Pam's Harvest Craft so we don't have the cute little green fish anymore. All right, this is a root garden. Carrot, 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 we found a carrot, yes. So we don't have the cute little green fish and all of those new foods anymore, but that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna message Pam and see if we can figure out how to make it work. Kinda like I need to message Raz so I can get my, my doll from the Patreon mod, that I, or the Patreon I got. Okay, Lucky Rabbit, come here. Come here, little one, I have a carrot for you. Yay, Lucky Rabbit's feeling better. All right, I feel much better now too. Right, I'm gonna put this moss over here, cause why not? But yes, yeah, so we did lose a couple. Oh, the swan is on, the swan is on. Our little our little fishing fishing crate that we've got. Oh, it's going down in the Tate and Tackle. This is adorable. Well, good idea, Swan. We'll go and show off what we've done in the Tate and Tackle. So I did do a little bit of work to replace the work that we lost in here. And I did do a little bit of work just, I, I kind of kept going after a minute. And I was like, oh wait, I promised every block. So I have to stop. But it was really hard because I was in the flow of just getting things put down. But I love it. So I managed to put some of the ceiling in. So the ceiling now kind of goes down. And I'm trying to keep it so it's like one, two, three, four tall and then ceiling. I really like the oak ceiling and I did it four tall because I want to have some of the oak beams go across here. And I think that would look really nice if we could have some of the oak beams kind of running through some of these areas. Uh, um, and I should probably show you guys what I mean by oak beams though. So that would be like the oak post that we used. Oh, and you can't see it from here. And actually that means I have to go get some poo or some enriched soil. So stay, well puppies, you can come with me actually. So let's go get some of the oak beams. But yeah, as you can see, I did a little bit more work inside the Tate and Tackle just because I had to replace what we lost from a day's progress. Thankfully, it wasn't a lot. And thankfully, uh, nobody else, like these beams, these beams, this is what we need to go get. These are the oak wood posts. And you get these when you grow oak trees with the enriched soil or the poo that we have. So here's a whole bunch of enriched soil. 
And now I just need to get a whole bunch of oak saplings. Perfect, perfect. We've got two and two, that's all we need. Um, I can probably put like a ton of these away actually. All right, oh, and you know what, while I'm here, I should probably just grab this oak wood. <laughs> oh wait, here's some oak wood post right here too. Huzzah, hello Lily, good girl. All right, watch out puppies. Might as well check the food traps while I'm here. All right, that one needs, oh goodness, I need to silence you guys again. All right, so the deer are noisy again. I'll have to fix that. All right, we'll work on harvesting all this stuff later. We're on task, we're on task. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm just so happy that we still have our world. Everything's good. A little sad that we weren't able to get the other mods in. But we did add in a special surprise mod that I will show off to you guys another day. I'm going to save it, Mr. Swan, for a day when we aren't busy celebrating the fact that we have these adorable boats and the Tate and Tackle to work on. All right, puppies. Oh, dang it, Pine. <laughs> you moved. You moved and made me look a little bit silly. All right, everybody sit. Everybody sit. Lily. 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 Good girl, Lily. All right, Pine. <laughs> All right. And then we've got the little swan. So then we have these posts. And I think these posts would just look really good as beams in a few areas. So maybe like here. Like so. See, look at that. Look at that. That's something I've wanted to do with them. I'm going to need more oak wood. And then I need my little, well, getting my shovel. It's kind of hard when you're trying to work with dirt because dirt just disappears when you have a diamond shovel on it. All right, there we go. And then we can put down like this oak post like so. And I wonder if I want to do it. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep going down. Like this on either side? Ooh, that actually looks really cool, doesn't it, guys? Oh, that looks so cool! That looks so cool! So that's how we're going to kind of design the Tate and Tackle. We'll use the oak post to kind of um, vary things up a little bit on the inside. But then on big stretches of empty wall like this, we'll probably make some nice devincing fish trophies that we could put up there. Or we'll just chisel into the wall a little bit. Go ch -ch 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 -ch. And we'll put an aquarium over there where you can just see some fish swimming around. Which would be so fun! Or just like some trophies. Or like a, an item frame and like a little sign. And it would be like, Bluegill! 2.6 pounds caught by Siri and then whenever a bigger one is caught people can just leave we'll have like a little um maybe behind the desk we'll have a chest that has item frames and signs in it so if you catch a big fish you can go ahead and put it up on the walls and we can just have all of those oh it's just gonna be so much fun I'm so excited all right let's get some food really quickly it looks like I have raw lemons and rutabaga to eat I'm sure I have something else I really hope I have something else to eat Oh, thank goodness. There's the blackberry juice again. Oh, gosh. I'm so used to having all of the cake back up at my house that I don't really carry food on me anymore. Wait, come on, blackberry juice. There we go. There we go. All right, let's grab the oak sapling and let's go get some more posts. So I actually probably need to get into a bit of an open area. Where'd my swan go? Oh, there he is. Look at how cool he is. Oh, my goodness, swan. You're awesome. But they do wander a little bit, it seems. So it might be a good idea to try to make a special area for the swans. So I'll remember that. All right, ooh, and I got some fairy slippers, wonderful. All right, so what happens if you take enriched soil or we've also renamed it to say poo, if we're cleaning up poo from the animals and you hit it with, uh, or you hit it onto a sapling is that it grows into this small skinny sapling right here. And that's a good thing because sometimes you need to collect these posts to use for various things. Like we use it just as decorative pieces, but you can also turn the post into a piece of oak wood or you can turn it into a fence if you have some string, which looks really cool. And if you guys are wondering where these are from, this is from the garden stuff mod that goes really, really, really well with the 1.7.10 version of plant mega pack that we're using. And just for the record, Tim Pack did put his um, 1.7.10 version of his Plant Mega Pack mod back up on his website. It used to be he would only support like 1.8 and took out the older ones, but he added them back in. And oh my gosh, do I ever love Tim Pack's mod. If I could learn how to make plants myself, I totally would. Maybe one day I will. Maybe one day you guys will be able to download some sort of fancy zoo crafting mod that has all sorts of special plants in it. And I can make some delicious food. Maybe I can just like, I, I, I will become a chef -esque under Pam. I won't just rely on Pam. I'll be like, Pam, can you teach me your ways? And I will learn how to, how to make my own stuff too from Pam. That would be really fun. 
All right, let's see. And let's come over here, pick this up. Is that enough post? That's a good decent amount of post to get us started. And we have plenty of enriched soil. We can always make more because the enriched soil is made from our awesome little composter. And that composter is pretty cool because you can put in like any of the extra plants or any of the extra grass that we have. Ooh, I didn't notice this. All right, this makes it kind of interesting. Hmm. 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 I don't think that one will work, but I really like this. <laughs> Dang it. Um, we made this hallway a little bit awkward for this kind of work. Well, what if we do this? What if I took these out and we just have that one? It's not bad. Okay, okay, I can live with that. All right, I can live with that. All right, so what are we gonna do now, you guys? Well, we're gonna try to finish the chain tackle. <laughs> As always, I've shown you guys the awesome paddle boats. I kind of want to paddle in them for just a second more, but we have work to do. So I'm gonna stay focused and we're gonna turn this into an aquarium pretty soon. Let me go ahead and just get some room in here. Look at all the stuff we've got. We've got so much cool stuff, so many plants. Oh, I should just throw that sculpture down somewhere. Uh, let's get these out of the way. Um, oh, there's my oak wood planks. Good, I need those. Here's my cobblestone. I knew it was laying around somewhere and I just need to get my little chisel out. Try to get ourselves, now we've got plants. We just have so much stuff you guys. I think I can put my armor away for now I don't think we're in immediate danger, but those sound like famous last words if you ask me um, The dogs have a lot of raw pork chop over here put these away the the fishing rod I'll go ahead and put the fishing rod out inside my chest So whenever we finish like working for the day we can come and do a little bit of fishing Just to celebrate with what we've done. Um, and let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna put you I'm gonna put this one right there. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And now I just need my pickaxe. But yeah, so I'm super excited, you guys. I am so excited. We have so much going on. And thank you guys so much for letting me know what you guys thought about where we should put the fan art. Because I really, 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 really want to start displaying the fan art more. Because that's part of what makes the story. Zoo crafting is tremendously about our community. That really is like the heart and soul of zoo crafting is your guys' ideas, your excitement, your passion for the natural world. And so many of you have been shipping in with like Siri talk about Gar Siri look up river monsters and talk about river monsters and I really should look up river monsters because that would be really fun too is that quartz did we just pick up quartz no that's marble that's marble quartz would be in the nether that's right Siri uh, but yeah like talk about river monsters and just like learn so so much about the different big freshwater fish and it's really fun because the more I start looking for fish things and just kind of being aware of like why are fish cool how can I convince people fish are cool and important then the more stuff I'm starting to find but a lot of it tends to be marine um, fish so like ocean fish I just saw like some sort of weird slug fish worm on tumblr today and it was beautiful and moving and I was looking at the gif and I was like oh man Oh man, I need to share this with everybody, but it's not a freshwater fish. So I think Nirne is going to be really happy when we start moving into freshwater fish because that is kind of what her whole area is all about. So that's going to be fun. Oh, look at this. Look at how quickly it's all coming together. Okay, so in here, we are going to be putting the aquarium. One of the aquariums It's just going to be a nice little freshwater aquarium. Okay, that's fine. Spooky noises. That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure that's normal. And then I don't want to make it like too huge. I think I just want it to be perhaps like eh, da, 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 da. like this would be the back wall of it. So I don't know what to do for the back wall of it either. Huh? That might be a little interesting. Should it be dirt? Should it be? Oh, maybe we have enough space over here. Where's some dirt? Here's some dirt. Maybe we have enough space over here that what I can do um, well, and this is tricky because I kind of wanted the aquarium to go all the way straight down now that I think about it. I did, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, I want the aquarium to go all the way straight down. So I think I will go ahead because it's going to go into the Fisher Dogs Tavern. And I thought that would look pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and we'll say this will be the back of the aquarium. And we'll figure out what that's supposed to look like later. All right, we'll just move the dirt here for now. But yes, thank you guys so much for your opinions and your excitement over like putting fan art back in the videos. We used to do it now and then, and it really means a lot to me to be able to share 
the community. That's what we're all about is the community and putting it all together. It's your ideas, the community ideas that make zoo crafting what it is. And so I think for now I'm going to go with a hybrid intro where we have the sneak peek of where we're going to be for the episode like we've been doing. And then I'll switch over to like just looking at a couple pieces of fan art for a few seconds and then we'll begin the episode because a lot of people were saying put it at the end of an episode but to be honest not many people make it to the end of the episodes i can tell exactly when someone leaves an episode in my analytics and i don't mind if you can only watch a few minutes and then head off especially if we talked about some interesting facts for the day so you can go to work or school with a little bit more science under your belt which is always fantastic but I want to make sure that people really get the credit and the the honor, the, the just the sense of like, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for what you've made for us. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you so much for bringing some of our adventures in our community to life. And I don't feel like I'm I am from the bottom of my heart showing how thankful I am if I put the stuff at the end. Oh, there's one of our surprises. Some of you guys can shout out in the comments if you know where that's from because you're going to give everybody else hints because I'm not going to tell you where it's from yet, but that's one of our surprises. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, I don't feel like putting the fan art at the end of the video would really be what I want to be able to show everybody how much I appreciate it. I feel like to show from the bottom of my heart how deeply I appreciate it and what an honor it is to me to receive it, it should go at the beginning. But if it proves to be a little bit distracting for immersion to see it like that, then we'll work something else out. So just be honest with me about if that's just something that just sends you right up the wall or not. And if the hybrid intro where we do like our normal intro and then just like we just like it won't be too long either. It'll still be the same length as our normal intros. If that works for you, then I'm so happy because we're able to share some of our amazing community creations together. Not to mention, I have started to go back through our Facebook and I have started to add every single piece of digital fan art that I possibly have into these huge galleries. We have like 138 pictures for Wolf Quest alone right now. Zoo Crafting only has a handful because we don't have a lot of fan art for Zoo Crafting. But that's fine. It's not about how much it is. It's just about seeing your guys' creativity and your creations come to life. So there's my little babble and we will be building an art gallery. We will be using the bibliocrafting mod in the future to build an art gallery where we try to show a lot of it off. Um, just I, I feel like I don't want to put it off for forever and ever. And so we're going to have a little bit in every every morning episode. So I think you guys will enjoy that. I know I definitely will. It just it does something good to my heart to be able to see our world from your guys perspective in any form or fashion. And there's our happy swan! We still need to figure out what to name that swan. You guys, look at the progress we're making! Don't forget, we're gonna save, probably save the tavern for a later build because we have a lot of work to do. And we do want to be putting a waterfall in here that will kind of run down. And I guess we'll have to figure out a fancy way to do that. Like a waterfall, maybe right here. Yeah, it'll come like from there and we'll make a little bridge that will funnel it so you can walk under the water. And then the waterfall will keep going and it'll go down. All right, good. well, maybe, okay. This is gonna be a little trickier than I thought. <laughs> maybe we'll just have the waterfall. Yeah, maybe we'll just do the waterfall and then a giant aquarium wherever we need it in the Fisher Dogs Tavern. And we'll just keep this one as like an upstairs aquarium that will kind of show off some of the catches from the lake. And tomorrow we will probably be working on holding off the lake a little bit. Hello, my lovely swan, my dancing, dancing swan. We'll be working on putting the windows up, I think, so I can kind of get a feel for what this side is going to be like. Not to mention we need to put the glass up on this thing, too. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. It's really coming along. We're going to have little decoration pieces. We're going to have a little area where you can, like, buy some bait and tackle and fishing rods. We're going to have an area where you can see kind of, like, miniature little aquarium showing off some fish, and you can learn some awesome things about rivers and fish and whatnot. And we're going to have the adorable paddle boats. I'm so excited. Hey, you're going to an egg? Oh, I hear that eggs are laid much, much uh, less frequently from Pavo. Oh, but if you put a nest down near a bird, they're supposed to lay eggs in it. Oh, we'll have to do that tomorrow. I'm so excited. But all right, you guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining us today. I hope you guys will learn some new things from us. Oh, goodness. And I will see you all tomorrow for more beautiful work here in Zudesia Zoo. So until then, oh, my gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> and we will open Sneaky Pavo is Sneaky's present after, like, tomorrow. We'll, we'll, or tomorrow. We'll open that tomorrow because I love, I love savoring my gifts like that. So we'll open that in the morning and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.